run 89 is go to the park range and the platform A. All right, let's go, everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is SD. Today we are back at Fairview Transit Line H, and as you can see, we're in the brand new Bombardier Mark II. Today we're going to be taking an exclusive look at the Mark II and all of its features and comparing it side by side to the Mark I, the staple of Fairview Transit's current fleet. So without further ado, let's step right into it. So first thing we notice is that it has the same GUI as the Mark I, and it is also a two-car train set similar to most of the Mark I's we still have. It is however longer than the Mark I, but the two-car stop marker rule still applies as it still fits. Uh, without further ado, let's get set up for service. We are starting at the 80th East RTC, so we're going to set our signs to counterclockwise and input our run number, which today is 89. Now for a funny easter egg, when you press your NSS button, you will hear... Local one stop this is the sound used on the Gen 4 buses at most of the Gen 4 groups, so that's a little bit of a joke that Drew added in when he was scripting the train. Apart from that, this is a serious model and it is in beta, so we will get moving shortly. So we have been cleared out of the yard, so we are now going to get moving. So first things I notice, it sounds really good. Those are pretty accurate to real life Mark II's. And the cab is incredibly detailed despite the Mark II not having a real cab. So I'm impressed thoroughly so far. Anyways, we'll get moving into platform C at 80th East and see how it works on the line. So those are the new door sound effects. Obviously the chime is fake because the TTC does not have Mark II's in real life. However, the door belt sound effects are pretty good so I will give credit where it's due there. We are the only Mark II operating on the line today, so we will attract some attention. But apart from that, I'm excited to see how this goes. We are cleared out, so without further ado... Please stand clear of the closing doors. Let's put the show on the road. So first thing that I notice is that the braking is quite a bit slower than on the Mark 1, but uh, the sounds are pretty good. Uh, so on that front I have no complaints. Overall this model was really well done, it was done by Cappy Mateo, and hopefully once we get his new Mark 1 in the coming days, uh, Fairview Transit will look a lot better than it did previously. Otherwise, I am completely and thoroughly happy with this. So, to conclude this video, we're just going to be doing a quick operation time lapse with the Mark II. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again sometime soon. See you!